Museveni ni rafiki yangu. We want Ruto to come clear on his relationship with NRM. Ruto cannot claim to go to Uganda to learn on issues of how to win elections. National Resistance Movement Party has challenged the Kenyan members of parliament over their recent unkind words directed at Ugandan government. Either they were acting out of excitement or they were acting out of ignorance of exactly what happens and transpires or takes place. Otherwise, if they were cautious enough, they would have wanted to seek clarification in order to comment with the information. According to Emmanuel Dombo, these audio members are acting out of ignorance. People comment on the immediate happenings, at times forgetting on some of the things that happened in the previous. And there are no permanent allies and permanent enemies in the politics. Because of that, therefore, depending on what the political heat or temperature in Kenya is, it could have informed why those Kenyan MPs responded the way they did. But for sure, everybody knows that it's not in our interest to interfere or to be the ones to tell the Kenyans on what they are supposed to do. Dombo says, though the barbs against an RM party were malicious, the party and Uganda will treat them as cheap popularity. But to say that Uganda or NRM is interfering in the politics of Kenya Contrary to the procedures and uh, agreed diplomatic channels, definitely that wouldn't be. And you had the Minister for Foreign Affairs yesterday putting up a statement to say our relationship with the leaders in Kenya is guided by the diplomatic etiquette and also the brotherly relationship that we have as individuals. Asked whether this will slow down the journey for integration, Dombo said Hamon will be restored. We haven't interfered and we shall not. We want Kenya because our route to Mombasa, our imports go through there, our exports go through there. We are the biggest trading partner for now of our neighbor Kenya. So there is all to win and lose should that friendship be mismanaged. And for us, we look more inside of the economy, and the economy had, must inform the politics. And we shall not interfere at any one time. It should be recalled that in the past, both Uganda and Kenya have enjoyed cordial relationship as leaders crisscrossed from either side to converse for votes for their desired candidates. Robert Onyango, UBC News. <laughs>